So this is our uh, first annual three question game. Well, we were trying to come up with a good name for this. Do you want to hold this or you want me to hold it? I have it on my own mic, so it's... I'll hold it. All right. You're just already mic. Take a spot. So, uh... Are we, we tri- live? Are we on our... All right, well, fuck. All right. I'll probably cut all this. Go ahead. No, you won't. You don't cut shit. <laughs> So, I had, okay, so well. I need to know the rules first. It's, All right. It's three questions, and I get to say no to one of them and answer the other two. Yeah. But we have to have a beer when we're doing this. Well, we are having a beer, so but that's I just want to make sure that, that when I we are... I feel like having a beer is a requirement for everything I film in this well, shenanigans, so yes. I love it, but when we're on episode nine, we just got to right. be clear that we're, we're having rules. A, yes. We have to be drinking a beer. Fair and you enough. have to at least drink some of it, so I can't be in these cheesy I'm, I'm already a little deeper than you. I'm on like beer number four. Does that count? You're ahead of me. Okay, so we're good. We're even. All right. So the way I laid, laid it out is kind of like who wants to be a millionaire. You basically get three questions, but you get to lifeline one of them and not give a fuck about what actually happens. All right. So you pick one and you don't answer. Yeah. What if I what if I reserve the first question and I, and I don't like the second? I could answer the first? Uh... I think you just got to make a decision as you get the question. Yes wow. or no? We're gonna put you on the spot. You got to make. I mean, it's. I, it's I don't know if I like that. We'll we'll play along. We'll go. Is who wants a million millionaire? You All either right. have to answer the question now, or you're gonna lose. So. All right, let's go. Oh, we're gonna start immediately. All right, we're going right now. All right, so the first it's one. It's a big night. You know that's a big night. Like I'm kissing babies it and shaking hands. But, out but you don't want to tell people what we're what we're doing here. Like, what is all this big rigmarole? We never have this night in the background. It's a big night for Pacific FC. At least it really give us is. the background on what's going on right now. We had a huge signing tonight. Let's go. Tell me who the huge signing is. Oh, we signed Marcel De Jong from uh, White Cats. He was formerly of the White not, Cats. Yeah. And I he think was we, from he was the in White Bund- Cats. Bundesliga before that too, was he? He was. So, so what? Wh- wow. What I can't this is all that. That's good. What <laughs> this is is this is a landmark signing for us, and it just shows the commitment from our team, our ownership group, and what we're about. Everyone's pretty much says this is the biggest signing in CPL so far. Absolutely. And 100%. And, this, and this is how Pacific FC rolls. And, yeah. and you know, we, we, can, we can talk about a lot of stuff that's happened with the club, but from, from the football side, which Rob and Josh have, have really put into it, this that's, is that's a ma- the time and money major, the, yeah, major yeah. signing. I would love to take any, any role in this, which I had zero, because I'm business ops. And with my old job with the Guts, I was player personnel. Yeah. It's a weird thing for me not to be involved with a player. So. Yeah. so in general, like, I love talking to you when we hit stuff, when we hit a mile mark like, like today because you're just excited about it like I am. Like, you're back, like this is the biggest signing CPL's hat. What, when Josh and I talked the last couple months, topics like this came up about soccer, the operations yeah. part of it which was very, very important to me. I didn't want to come to a team that was just happy with being in the league. Yeah. I didn't want to come to a team that was just happy to be financially in the league or any of that. I wanted to win. Yeah. And, and I don't have any control over the, the soccer ups, which I don't want at this point. Yeah. I have too much else to do. But when when this, when I heard about this a few weeks ago, obviously I was a little a little uh, before everyone else. Yeah. I was all in and it was so exciting. I mean the internet helped a little bit. I knew before that. <laughs> the internet was like they were on it sooner than I thought they were gonna be on it. I'll leave it at that. Alright, we gotta ask these questions. All we're right, running let's out of go. beer. Let's go. I all right. run out of beer. I need to, I need so, someone to load me up here. So the first one is basically a field update. What's the current plan for the pitch at Westville? You got a timeline? Is Come there gonna on, be that's an easy goalposts? question. Now, come on, they're that's not a, all supposed that's to be a, hard. That's a softball question. But I'm looking for details, man. Not, like not just like it's gonna be not on grass. time on time on budget. That field will be ready to go. The seats will be in. Will we be a hundred percent at our at our capacity? No, we won't right away. But that's okay because we'll have we'll have everything rolling. It will be a great place. Opening day, you guys will have the time your, of your life. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I have my crew working on exciting stuff right now. I've got a DJ lined up. We've got we've got so much stuff in in the party zone, in the family zone. It's come on. This is what I do. This is what I have oh, fun I know. with. This well, I was is, mainly asking like, 
do you have an actual like can you give like details as far as like an actual timeline when can i go out there and see the turf you go now there's gonna be snow on it though right well, now right i was now. out there today um as far as you know, when, when do you think when, renovations will be done game by game time by game time yeah absolutely yeah. okay 100 percent. it will be done we had meetings today with langford they are all into everything is in motion yeah yeah it's it's ready to go for game time that's why I want to know. Like, I just want to know, like, what you're gonna come up it's to me. Good, on the, you're gonna good. come up to me on, on game day and say, "Wow, you were right, Brad." You did that. Question number one that you gave me was a softball question. Well, I thought I was getting harder questions than this. Come all on. right. Well, we'll go to the next one. Is uh, how about can you list three vendors that will be at the games? Well, that that I can't because I don't have any signed contracts well, on about, that part. What three have you like courted? Who do you want? Name are, you talk, are you talking beer or are you talking food? Beer, food, anything. Give me like your top three. Wow. What do you think? I might even take a pass on this because this is where I was in a meeting for three hours today. Hey, don't get me wrong. What if we give you a time frame of like we're not going to release this for a week or so? And then don't, give me an answer. <laughs> I mean, there you go. He'll do it. Uh, don't I get a pass on one you of do. these questions? We got one other one after Hold this on. one. Hold on. Yeah, but like. This is just who you're courting, Mandy. I don't know if you don't want to give it away or not. Who am I courting? You want to know who I'm courting? Who would you like to have at the stadium? What three vendors? For, for beer partners? Beer partners, food partners. Okay, so, some so here's what I want to do at the stadium for need beer. need some rumor and scuttlebutt here. That's here's what I want to do for beer. I want to have the craft zone. I don't want to have one partner. Yeah. I want to have five partners. I want to be, you know, pints at the pitch. But it's gonna be, they're going to be bigger than pints, so... I, I can't right. go with that. So hold on, hold on. You can't just take that away. From oh, me. No, no, no. I, I'm just gonna be a, dick, a stickler, and I'm gonna oh, ask yeah. for a specific name. Go. You, you gotta give me three names. On pints or partners? You just partners. People you want to have there at the. Who field. I want to have? Yeah. Well, I want to have a great food truck lineup. Yeah. That I can be proud of, and that the people can come there and be proud of. So, you know, I've worked with with the the Greek food truck, which. Those, those guys put out a fabulous spread. What it, a great food truck before. What, it, what it is at the at the yard is is the best experience for people. Yeah. But it's not just I want novelty food too. So yeah. the ice cream truck, there may be a pretty good ice cream truck there because I'm in deep conversation with those guys. So there's two. All right, that's not specific. But I'll get ice cream. Which ice cream the, the truck? Only I reason, mean, I'm not even. I don't know that. The only reason well, I can't one give one you the name of the ice cream truck is because it may have switched ownership in the last like week. So I'm not All even right, sure I know. Someone on the internet sleuth that. All right, cool. So if you've been to a Harbor Cat game, you know that it was Jackson's ice cream. Yeah. But Jackson has sold the business, so I'm not sure what the new company is. All so right. Food is a big fabric of what I do. Yep. And I guess the last one I said I'm in deep conversation with Molly's Fish and Chips. The British. Oh, Betty. The, yeah. The British man. Fish and chips and tailgate? I am living. That'd be great. So there's your three. And I, no. you know what? I'm going to probably answer your last question because that means <laughs> I may get a mulligan next, next time. All right. Well, here's the easy one. Um, how do you feel about playing your second game on a Wednesday? Because that is the massive internet rumors right now. How do you know that? I internet, haven't even seen buddy, that. I didn't look it up. The internet told me. Second game on a Wednesday. The deal is, is there's multiple teams that have already confirmed their like first game away is in Victoria. Who are we playing? Uh, oh, I'm not gonna know. It's Ford Halifax. That's what I heard. All right. On a Wednesday? The rumors are that's gonna be like the second game, and the rumors is like May first. There's, no there's no schedule. You guys are making up. stuff up. Okay, hey. so if I am playing on a Wednesday, yeah, give me. It's gonna be the best damn Wednesday you've had because. Events. That's what we do. We put we put on events. There's gonna be fireworks, right? On a Wednesday night? I don't know, man. I don't know if, if these are key if, important questions. But if the mayor just left, the mayor of Langford just left. Yeah. I have well, a meeting with him early right. next week. So if, if if I'm allowed to do fireworks, I'm gonna blow it up. Well, you that. gotta you have to keep that ball rolling, from what I understand. Like, even if the second game's a Wednesday, it's. Saturday opening day. Wednesday's got to be just as big. Going to the next. So weekend. I play. I play Saturday at home, and then I play Wednesday. Hey, how do you have guess. the schedule and I don't? Internet. Internet tells me lots of things. Love the rumors. It's a rumor bill, but this is, I need you at my. You. I need you at my office tomorrow to go over this, because so I can get game day down. Well, I don't. Know I what love this. Is. 
So I I'm, thought, ho- I totally I'm home the on the Saturday, and then I got another home on the Wednesday, like four or five days later? Yeah, it's, it's, that happens in soccer pretty often. It's, I, uh, I, hey, you know where I came from? I played it almost every day. Well, I, well at baseball home. Baseball was like usually you get a three or four game standard. Like, right? It would be a three or a six, sometimes then, a yeah. nine. So it, it does, that, does, that doesn't that does worry me. All right, so I got work to do tomorrow morning. I play it a Saturday, <laughs> and I got a Wednesday. Oh, well, I'm sure by the time this comes out, it might not be relevant, but I just figured it's but hypothetical. I love it, though. Well, I love what the Internet's about because – We'll do a hypothetical you know, of what do, you, what do you entail a quick turnaround to be from a, a quick weekend turnaround, game to Quick, quick turnarounds internally are the easiest. Yeah. It's the when I have three weeks off, those are tough. Trying because, to get the uh, ball rolling again? You, yeah, because so it's, it's, it's the energy level, right? Yeah. And, and I'm all about the staff being ready for the energy and, and pulling this off. So if I have a uh, if I have a Saturday, Wednesday, uh, I love it. I really do. It, and the crowd loves it too because there's like four or five days break there that makes sense. It really does, and we're and I like that a lot. The three week off one, that one that worries Those me because I, I need to re I need to get everyone re energized from the crowd, from the staff, and and that's, that's yeah. A tough one. We hit that in MLS where if you had like a month off. Nobody showed up to the next game because it's like I kind of forgot about soccer. Yeah, yeah. No, I get you. Then you I have five in a row, and each game is more and more and, people. And and, and that's more and, more and that's where strong promos come involved in that kind of yeah. stuff to get to get that energy back for sure. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna key on start times on that on the breaks and and. Oh, you're interested in a question I want to write down. We have four is, questions. This well, that, well, this is more of a follow up. All this right, point. follow me up because all I. Right. What's your plan to deal with the Langford crawl, so to speak, and people getting out to your games on the weekend? Or not on, the weekend. On the week, During week, the week. Weekend's easy. We'll, we'll have later start times for sure, and uh, we're going to have some uh, bus pickups all over town for sure. Um, 100%. Very excited about the bus. 100%. Yeah. Have you officially announced partnership with anybody, or is it just currently be Funny enough, crazy? I had talks with Wilson Transportation tonight, and they will be definitely involved in those bus pickups. I can't wait. All right, Brad. Uh, uh, thank you very much. See you next time. Till the next time. Cheers. Cheers.